Okay. All right. Hi guys. How's it going? Uh, am I first up today or have you been doing this all day? Yeah. First, first up. up. All right. Yeah. Okay. The, the pressure is on. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> well, congratulations on the film. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. And Adrian, I want to start with you because, you know, did this stem from some drive on the 401 and you were, and some cop pulled you over and you were like, I got to get my revenge? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, I mean, you know, I've had tickets in the past. I've basically, there's like a ticket I got when I'm, tw when I was 20 and I've been like fighting it in my head for 13 years. So uh, there was that, you know, floating around there, but there was a real life it was actually the astrology stuff that right. that started it. I was um I was at a party and someone was doing birth chart readings and they were doing mine and I like totally disagreed with everything they were saying, but all my <laughs> friends thought it was super accurate. Um, and so there was like this very irritating disconnect between like how I saw myself and how everyone else saw me. Right. Um, and so that event combined with these you know parking and speeding tickets that that I should have never received. And you know, yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay. So, uh, oh, before I get to you, Molly, this, is it true, Adrian, that you did write this with Molly in mind? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Really All right. Really okay. So Molly, take it away because first I want to know how real Molly would react in the situation being pulled over on the 401. <laughs> um, I, I it would, I think, I think to start, I think I would probably have slowed down. Like, I don't think that's the right thing to do, but I think I would have been so anxious that I would make sure the cop was like way well ahead. Yeah. Um, and then if I did get pulled over, I would probably um, cry and pay it immediately and feel guilty about it for a long, long time. Right, <laughs> right, same, right? Because look, you yeah. can't relate to this story. You know, we've all gotten, like you say, Adrian, parking tickets or just thank God, God, you know, just minor infractions or whatever. But your first instinct is always like, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm, you know, right, right. And so Molly, for you, I was wondering, you know, once, you know, Adrian brought you this and you read it through, how did you feel about it? How did you feel about the way Molly, the character dealt with this situation? Um, I loved it. Um, one, because I think Adrian really clear voice, like a really clear writing voice. Um, and there was, um, the, the other half of why I love it is because I'm a huge Larry David fan and, and yeah. throughout, I sort of felt, um, moments of like, this is where I can finally have my, my moment in the sun, um, channeling Larry David in, in some small way, at least to me. So that was a thrill. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I felt that actually. It, you know what? That's so funny that you say that because as I was watching it, I was really thinking about Curb Your Enthusiasm. And then last night I was flipping around my TV and I was watching a rewind that I've seen a million times. You know, that is just so funny. <laughs> Very coincidental. Um, Adrian, I, I, I got it though because, you know, it's frustrating, but yet it's satisfying kind of going through Molly's journey in this film. Because as I said, you know, half of you is like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. I should fight this. But then the other half is always like, oh, I'm a suck. I'll pay the $300 or whatever it is. I don't want to get in any trouble, you know. But I, I wanted to know from you, like, how do you feel about this situation? Just I want to set aside the the um, astrology thing for, for a moment and just how we all deal with this. Because honestly, she could have just left it alone. But, yet, you know, she had to stick to her guns. You know, I I that. Well, she knew she was right. I mean, it's <laughs> if you know you're right, you, you can't just let something go. Uh, right. You know, but so Molly and it's I hard have... to fight the authorities, right? Like, as we oh, yeah. see. Yeah. It's a real it's a David versus Goliath thing in, in the most petty way possible, you know. Um, <laughs> but, you know, but I, I would agree with Molly if 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 you think you're right, you've you've got to yeah. <laughs> you've got to fight the good fight for your for your own sanity. So stand your ground for sure. I wanted to know from you, Adrian, too. Did you do any kind of research just in terms of the process of what it really takes to fight a ticket or that kind of thing? You know, because sometimes is it really worth it? Is it worth our time? As we see in the film, like how many days off did she have to take it take from her? You know, her job and. And maybe because she is kind of stuck in this a mundane life, no offense, um, maybe she's 
next excitement in her life. So I want to know from you if you kind of did, the, did your research because is it is it really that difficult to fight a ticket and is it worth it sometimes? Uh, well, I, I think that is a very funny point that this is somehow a like vacation from her, the mundanity of her life. But, but um, I did do research, you know, there's a lot on YouTube, lots of people fighting their, uh, you know, having their day in court, talking yeah. about how they didn't deserve this parking ticket, this speeding ticket, etc. cetera. Um, my father-in-law uh, is a lawyer, so I was able to ask him certain specifics. Um, and so, yes, I did my research and then I, uh, I don't actually know how accurate it ended up being, but I, I knew I had it all laid out and then I picked and choose based on uh, what needed to happen or what, yeah. you know, what was, what was the the worst thing to put Molly through. So Yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah, yeah right. It, it, it's interesting because sometimes we do go through these whole, you know, these the whole things and then you're at the end, it's like, oh God, did I end up having to pay more than what it was worth anyway? Or, you know, things like that. I think right? if, so, yeah. And if you look at the time you spend doing it, I don't think it's worth it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, depending on what it is, of course, for sure. Um, Molly, that's one of the ways I mean, win. I'm sorry, say that again, Adrian. That's one of the ways they win though. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is so true. I know it's, it's, yeah, it, we could talk about that aspect of <laughs> for hours and hours for sure. Um, Molly, you know, I know, look, obviously you and Adrian are good friends. You've worked together before. Why does it work so well with two of you? And you can embarrass him as much as you like. Go ahead. Um. Well, Adrian, I feel like is a real actor's director. Like before every take of every scene, we would have these great heart to hearts where essentially Adrian and I discuss the reasons uh, why I was in the right or like what I was walking into. Um, and I just felt like really supported and we had a lot of really interesting sort of like, we did a lot of takes for a lot of these scenes. Um, so we got to play with it in a really interesting way. And the fact that the takes, like the scenes are pretty long yeah. um, for for film standards, I think it felt very, um, I guess like organic is maybe the word I would use. Um, so I feel like Adrian set me up for success really well, um, director wise and also the, sort of the the structure and style of the of the film sort of made it really fun and easy to to play with um and i also think like the, the best thing ever is to to make art with your friends so it, it was just such a joy this yeah 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 I, yeah I, I agree and, and you're right about the scenes being you know just not drawn out i mean just they were they were really well crafted. I thought I really liked that because I always get very nervous watching anything anyone in a car driving. I don't know what it is. I get really nervous like there's going to be a car crash or something. I I don't know. Not that I've ever experienced that, but I get nervous about that. Like Adrian, like you know, a lot of it was taking place in a car and long scenes, Molly, where you're driving, you're going to one. Do you ever get nervous about stuff like that, Adrian? Uh, well, it's funny you say that. I mean, I get the same reaction when I see when I see shots of people driving in cars in movies. You're just expecting, you know, the car to come out of nowhere and, and uh, I don't know, T-bone right. them or something. But uh, right. yeah, yeah, it's just that shot's been like, you know, deeply ingrained into our brains. Um, yeah. But I mean, a lot of our life can take place in cars. You know, we 100%. we commute a lot. So I. I feel it's unnatural to to not show it as a location. I don't know. Yeah. No, 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 no. It works. I mean, it totally, especially for this film too. I just, you know, I always like when people are talking, they're in the front seat and they're talking to each other. I'm like, look at the, look at, look forward. <laughs> like, why are you not looking yes. forward? It drives me insane. But anyway, that's just me. So Molly, are you a good driver? Do you like to drive? I I like to drive. I mean, I'm, I think, I'm a pretty competent driver. Um, it depends on the like I've been in Montreal and I felt um, very stressed <laughs> in Montreal and in New York. It's very scary to drive, but I think I'm overall a pretty competent driver. I'm a really bad parker. Parking yeah. is a is not my favorite. Yeah. Um, but most mostly the driving scenes were uh were pretty chill. The only concerns right. I had were with the very fancy camera immediately behind me and I was like 
oh my gosh, I don't want to destroy this this very expensive piece of equipment. Please, yeah. please, please let me keep this piece of equipment from shattering. Yeah. <laughs> we we felt it. very safe with your driving, Molly. <laughs> you passed Aww, the test. You. you passed the test. There you go. We're all good. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the um, astrology aspect of it because it does play, you know, very heavily in, into it. And, and and it's interesting. It brings such an interesting aspect to it because of, as you said, Adrian, like we see ourselves one way, our friends might see ourselves in a different way. Um, you know, Molly, the character is a bit reluctant to this. Like she, you know, she's going through her stuff too. Why was it so important to kind of bring this to the table? Um, I, I wanted to talk about like how, how kind of fragile the idea, like the concept of truth can get if you really get into your head about it, et cetera. And, uh, you know, there are kind of different definitions and I wanted there to be, you know, that the astrology thing is like a truth that someone finds with, from within themselves, how they can see themselves. You've got an authoritative truth with the cop. Um, yeah. And so those things, those two, you know, um, different, you know, definitions of truth kind of butting into each other. So that's where they play. And then, you know, Molly's trying to, trying to basically escape her, her fate from right. both of these. And, uh, you know, as it's yeah. been prescribed the stars to her. So, yeah. Yeah. Molly, do you buy into that stuff? I don't like, I, I know I'm a Sagittarius and I, I don't I don't really pay but I do love hearing people talk about it like if anybody's into that stuff I'll be like I'm a Sagittarius tell me everything about myself I want to hear it like I think it's just it's always fun to hear people talk about the thing that they're so passionate about like I could listen for hours um right. so I don't like I don't I don't pay a lot of attention to it but I'm curious I'm open to hearing about it yeah yeah Fun. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like, I'm not really that into it either. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an Aquarian. And sometimes I like to read about who knows, right? You just never know what's out there in the stars. Um, just to wrap it up, Adrian, what are you working on next? Or have you started writing your next movie for Molly? I, I've always got several on the go. And I, I, I can't say which one is going to end up on the top. But several more petty, Ooh. petty dramatic comedies. Uh, are always percolating in my head yeah awesome keep those petty dramatic comedies coming we love them well you guys did a great job in this i, I really did enjoy it i thought it was so well done and i really want to thank you for your time today so uh take it easy and thanks so much i appreciate it thank you thank okay. you so much bye guys okay it's lovely to talk you too thanks so much okay bye guys